Dobrý den, welcome to Prague, Europe's most enchanting city. My name is Martin Dropa and I'm the concierge supervisor here at the Intercontinental Prague. It is my pleasure to take you on this insider tour of our historic and romantic city. Our hotel has the perfect location right in the heart of the city. Whatever you are looking for, whether for business or pleasure, is just steps away. Take a short walk down Pařížská street with its beautiful Art Nouveau houses and luxurious international brands before reaching the Old Town Square, the city's main meeting point. Don't miss the unique 15th century astronomical clock and the sweeping views from the tower. The best route for a morning jog or evening walk is across the river, here in Letná Park, where the locals come to relax and enjoy a beer. There is also a nice walking path to Prague Castle, which is the largest castle complex in the world. If you only have time for one attraction, make sure to see the St. Vitus Cathedral, the magnificent spiritual center of Bohemia. The hotel is located in the Jewish Quarter, which has Europe's oldest active synagogue. Make sure to see one of the oldest Jewish cemeteries, which is part of the Jewish Museum in Prague. Its exhibitions offer a great opportunity to learn more about the Jewish customs and traditions in the Czech lands. The best way to explore the Jewish Quarter is with a private guide, which I would be more than happy to arrange for you. Prague is full of international brands, but I would like to show you some places and shops that are unique to our culture and heritage. Please follow me. Manufactura preserves Czech folk culture with their wooden toys and handmade crafts. They also produce their own line of cosmetics using natural ingredients and inspired by the country's famous spa treatments and thermal waters. Havelsky Market is one of the oldest outdoor markets in Prague. Vendors sell fresh homegrown vegetables and also typical souvenirs, but for better prices than in the stores. The region of Bohemia produces some of the world's finest glass and crystal, which make truly exquisite gifts. One of the top brands is Moser, which is used everywhere from local restaurants to palaces. It produces high quality and ecological glassware, such as vases, candlesticks or art engravings. Throughout history, the Czech Republic has been influenced by both the East and the West, and this is reflected in our cuisine as well. To experience Prague's pub culture, you have to come to Kolkovna. There is no question that the Czech beer is the best in the world, and you are going to drink plenty of it. So make sure you order a traditional heavy Czech meal with your beer. I recommend the duck with dumplings and cabbage. It's simply delicious. Café Savoy is a monument to Prague's rich café culture. It's a great place to just relax with a cup of coffee or enjoy a light lunch or even a gourmet meal. Like my favorite, chicken breast with mashed potatoes in a bowl of carrot soup. Oh, and don't forget their homemade desserts. La Finestra is ideal for a business lunch or a casual dinner. It features the best Italian cuisine in Prague, inspired by the motto simplicity, tradition and passion. What I especially like is that you may pick your own piece of meat and have it prepared however you like. Reservations are required, so please come to see me in advance. Prague is like an outdoor museum, full of winding cobblestone streets that are best explored by foot. So let's go for a walk and discover more. No trip to Prague is complete without a walk across Charles Bridge. The best time to visit is early in the morning, when you have the bridge all to yourself. Not everybody knows about the hidden pier just under the bridge, where little boats take you to Kampa Island, the so-called Venice of Prague. Prague is full of gardens and parks, there is always a nice place to escape the crowds. My favorite is the Verdbovská Garden, which is famous for its wedding ceremonies, receptions or just romantic walks. Strahov Monastery is still home to monks today, 
What makes it worth visiting are the ornate libraries that hold more than 200,000 books. The collection of theological and philosophical texts is considered one of the best in the world. Regular tours only allow for partial access, but I can actually arrange a private tour for you so you can walk through the libraries and see them up close. And that's the tour. I hope you enjoyed this short look at our magical city. But remember, there is still so much more to explore. We are looking forward to welcoming you here at the Intercontinental Prague. Naschledanou!